Hi, so here's some uh, experimentation to test the payload capability of the tricopter. What I have here is a digital scale that I will turn on. It should come up in grams and immediately what I'll do as soon as it comes up is, and forgive the camera shake, but I'm using my iPad and one hand, I'll put the actual tri on in all its glory. So the tricopter is balanced on its own and that will show you that the the native weight of the tricopter is about 880 grams to that I normally fly with a single 2200 3 cell so I'll add that to the scale and we'll see that takes it up to just over a kilo now for those of you who prefer the medieval measurement system I'll flip to pounds and ounces so with the battery the tri is two pounds five ounces I'll take away the battery and we see we're at uh, 1 pound 15 ounces. So that's what I plan to, that, that's how I always fly the tri. That's fully loaded with the receiver, the fly mentor, etc. So what I want to do to test the lifting capabilities is actually figure out the sort of approximate weight of FPV. I fly with my GoPro uh, and that weighs you know, less than 200 grams. So I decided to look around and figure out, because the question came, will it lift 400 grams? So I dug through the kitchen and found a can of good old Heinz baked beans, which weighs just over 1 pound 2 ounces, or 516 grams. I decided that would be a good test to see about 516 grams, and in fact, just for the heck of it, I decided to add a second battery to take it up to a total of 686 grams. So that's an eight, there goes the dog, that's an 800 gram tricopter lifting 686 grams, which is more than adequate for a complete FPV rig and or a second battery. And so that is actually lifting capacity of one pound, eight ounces, um, and that's additional over and above a single battery. So that's a can of beans, uh, attached to the plastic cover that I put over the electronics and a second battery. So I'm going to go ahead and strap that to the tricopter and uh, then get my uh, better half to take some film of seeing if it'll fly. So just to recap, I've put two batteries into the battery carrier. One is just being used for flying, the other one is just there for weight. I've added the can of beans and that takes me up to 1.72 kilos. That's 1.7 kilos. So that's uh, a a lot of extra weight and that's three pounds twelve ounces so I'm gonna take it outdoors now and give it a flight it's a little breezy not too bad and it's uh, we'll see how it goes okay so this is just a test as I say of extra lift power I'm not planning to do too much of a flight here there are two batteries to, and the can of beans on and um, here goes we're gonna arm it so I would say this is more weight than this thing would ever plan to carry Nice and stable, the flight means is doing its thing. I can let go of the sticks. I can definitely feel the extra weight and the responsiveness, but two batteries on board, a can of beans. Bring it in so we can do a little bit of close-up. You could I can certainly hear the motors are going a lot faster and working a lot harder. The additional weight. Still got lots of maneuverability, lots of speed, but lots more momentum. So it takes a bit longer to, and I'm in a confined space. So bring it down. Flip the stick to the right to disarm it. And that should answer the questions on the lifting capacity of the tricopter. Thanks for watching.